Welcome to another Dark Nook video. In this video, I'm taking one of my alpha masks and modifying it to look like a gamma mask. I start by marking off the new lines for the eyes, nose, and mouth in red marker. These lines will be covered or cut away, so you'll never see them in the final piece. Thanks for checking out my video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Once I have the lines marked out, I start changing the shape of the face by adding cotton soaked in liquid latex. This has almost a paste-like consistency that lets me sculpt the new features and details. I need to change the whole shape of the nose, I need to change the folds of the skin under the eyes, I need to change the skin around the mouth, I have to change everything in the face. And cotton and latex lends itself very well to making skin-like wrinkles. But what's really going to sell this mask is depth. Deep wrinkles and wounds on the surface of the skin, that's what's going to make the paint look great later. So I don't worry about trying to make it smooth anywhere, anywhere but the edges where it blends into the surface of the existing mask. I want that to be smooth. The regular alpha mask also doesn't have ears, so I'm adding some ears, since is at a most difficult pot. And since this is a rotten zombie skin mask, the ears don't have to be perfect. In fact, the more gnarled and rotten they look, the better.
And once all the cotton is added and I'm happy with the look, I leave it to dry. Thicker spots like the chin and the cheeks, they take a few days to dry completely. When it's dry, I can start on paint. And the first thing I do is a heavy base coat in black. This paint is mixed thick with lots of latex, so it helps seal the new surface by filling in any edges between the original mask and the new layer. I do a few coats of this black and I make sure to get in every bit, every nook and cranny, every little deep spot under the chin, everywhere. And then I let it dry for about a day. Once that's done, I move on to texture painting with a sponge, going from darker browns to lighter gray and green colors. Then once the sponge painting is all done, I move on to spattering and washes with dark browns and black using the airbrush. The final step is to take a damp paper towel and wipe off all the high points, but just the high points, so the gray skin shows through nice and clear, but all the dark, dirty, spattery bits stay in the low points and make it look nice and grungy. Once the paint's all dry, I move on to hair. I glue the hair onto the mask with rubber cement, sticking patches of hair from the lower points and moving up higher in overlapping layers. Each higher layer needs to overlap a lower layer, helps blend it in and make it look more organic. When I'm happy with the overall hair placement, I let it dry completely, and then I comb it out well to get any stray hairs. So not every hair is gonna be the same length, and you're gonna get some broken hair. Comb it all out just to get rid of any of those strays. Then I paint the hair with more latex paint, browns and blacks, to get that dirty, grungy, matted look, because the latex almost works like a glue in the hair. Once it dries, I rub the hair together in clumps, sort of like dreads, but not quite, and then finish with a heavy coat of hairspray.
Well, here it is all finished from alpha to gamma. You can see how it started and see how the final product turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And thanks for checking out my channel.